So what I'm going to start with is just the placement of a manual point. So over here on the far left side of the Trimble Field Points toolbar, I'm going to go ahead and select Place Manual Point. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull up a dialog box for me. So what the dialog box is allowing me to do is I'm going to go through and start to uh, just tell the software uh, what information I want to have associated with the point that it's getting ready to place for me. And the first thing I need to do is say, uh, what entity am I going to use to represent uh, visually what the point looks like within my drawing file? There's a drop-down menu here that shows the default uh, entities that come with the program. So I have some 3D representations. I also have some 2D representations that I can use to represent the point within my drawing file. You also have the capability, if your company has some specific styles that they like to use within their files to represent a point, you can actually insert those into the, the program as well so that when you go to this drop-down menu, uh, the, the entities that you use to represent a point uh, can also be listed here and can be selected by whoever's creating the points for your, your layout drawing. But I typically like to use the 3D cone option here, and the reason for that is just because I like uh, how it's just shaped uh, three-dimensionally and how it points at the location I'm going to be using for my point. So throughout the demonstration today, I'll probably be just selecting 3D cone as my entity uh, to represent my points. Once I've got the entity selected, the next step I want to go through is just some general information about the point that I'm getting ready to, to place. So the first thing I need to do is I need to tell the program what description I'm going to be using for this point. So in the case here, I'm going to be doing some uh, strap uh, hanger straps. So I'm just going to put in a, a brief description here just saying it's a, a hanger strap. And then I need to tell the program which layer I want to place this information on. So within my, my CAD file here, I already have a layer for duct hangers. So I'm just going to tell it place the, all the points on that particular layer. And then the next category here is my place annotations. So this is, again, back, going back to those settings that we looked at when we first opened up the application. Do I want to place annotations automatically, manually, or not at all? And in the case here, I'm going to do the automatic placement of annotations. So that's going to tell the software to place the annotations based off of the settings that I told it in terms of where to locate it in relation to where the point gets placed. Then I need to, to uh, tell the software for the next step uh, what is the starting point number that I'm going to be using for my, my points? So I'm going to give it a, a prefix definition. So in the case here, I just did HS for hanger strap. And then the starting number that I want to use for the placement of my points. Uh, by default, the program is going to start at zero or at one, I'm sorry. And if you uh, have already gone through your drawing file and you've placed some points, there's a little icon on the side here that you can select to refresh uh, the drawing file. And what that's going to do is the software is just going to look through and display for you what the next available uh, number is that's using that same prefix and number setting. So if you've already gone out and laid some points and you forgot you know, where you stopped um, after you laid out your points, you can select that item and the software is going to automatically tell you what the next available number is that you can use uh, for your, your numbering scheme. But I'm going to just leave this at 1. And then if I had a suffix I want to apply to the point as well, I can enter that information in. The next thing that I need to tell the program is what elevation to place these points at. Typically, when I'm doing my point layout, I'm going to do it at the object snap elevation. So wherever I snap in the drawing, that's where it's going to place the point in terms of an elevation. But in the drop-down menu, I also have the option to go through and say, uh, I want to select uh, a distance from where I do my object snap elevation. So if I were to select that, I could then tell the program that everywhere I snap with my, my cursor, place the point uh, at a certain distance away from that particular uh, elevation. So in the case here, I had a, a value of 10 feet, but I could change that to uh, 6 inches if I wanted to. Then that way the program would know that every time I come in and snap, it's going to place the point 6 inches vertically away from where I actually snapped in the drawing. I also have the ability to say, uh, just place all the points at a fixed elevation. So let's say I know that in my particular application, all my points are going to be placed at a certain elevation, uh, for instance, 10 or 12 feet up in the air. I can come in and then tell it an absolute elevation so that no matter what I do in terms of pointing or placing my point, it's going to place all those points at that fixed elevation. So I can come in and actually tell it in this case here, I'll say 10 feet. And then every time I come in and place my point, vertically it's going to be located at 10 feet. 
But I'm just going to put this setting back at object snap elevation because, again, that's typically how I like to do all my points when I'm uh, laying those out in the drawing. And then the last setting here is the attribute, the attribute uh, values. So again, I have five values that I can assign to uh, each point. And this is uh, when we were looking at those settings at the very beginning. This is where uh, that information would apply if I had changed what the, the names were. So if I had changed attribute one to manufacturer, this would be reading as manufacturer instead of attribute one. But I can then type in any information that I want to assign uh, to, the, to the point. And then that information, when I export it out and take it into Trimble Field Link for doing my layout, that information would carry out with the point. So after going through all my settings here, I'm ready to start going and placing points uh, manually. So I'm going to hit place, and I'm going to come in, and you'll see, if I zoom in here, you'll see my little uh, point marker that I selected. So there's my 3D cone, and I'm just going to go ahead and snap to a point, and you'll see with that automatic uh, annotation placement, as soon as I snap that point for the uh, for the uh, point location, it placed the both the marker and the annotation with it. So I'll just go along here, I'll find another strap location, I'll select it, places the point, come in again, and place my point once again.